Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Dragonfly gets new drone delivery patent. Also, Travis Air Force Base launches small unarmed aircraft initiative, and Virgin Orbit Demo 2 suffers another delay. Welcome to the Air News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today filled with the latest news, so let's start with Dragonfly has a new drone delivery patent. Dragonfly has been awarded a new patent for a VTOL cargo delivery drone with variable center of gravity. The design may be ideal for beave loss and for transporting goods in hard to reach areas or flight over people at night. U.S. patent number 10. 807,707 is a UAS configured for both VTOL and fixed wing flight operations including forward and aft wing assemblies mounted to the fuselage. Each wing assembly includes port and starboard nacelles terminating in motor driven rotors powered by an onboard control system. The UAS may transition between a powered lift VTOL configuration to a winged flight configuration by shifting its center of gravity forward, pivoting the wing assemblies from a powered lift position perpendicular to fuselage to a winged flight position parallel to the fuselage. The forward rotor blades may be folded back so that the aft rotors may provide primary thrust for winged flight operations. Onboard attitude sensors may detect rotor or control failures too, which the control system responds by triggering a conversion to a winged flight configuration for recovery operations. Dragonfly recently announced it had been selected by Cold Chain Technology Services LLC to immediately develop and provide flight services of a robust vaccine delivery payload for use in critical regions for drone delivery of the COVID-19 vaccine. AUVSI comments about regulations. That and more after the break. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the Unmanned Vehicle Committees. AUVSI welcomes final UAS Rules for Remote ID and Ops Over People. AUVSI has weighed in on a recent proposal by the FAA to provide regs for remote ID and other drone programs. AUVSI welcomes the progress made with the delivery of these final rules, said AUVSI President and CEO Brian Wynn. Remote ID will enable more complex UAS operations, which will have additional untold benefits for American society. Operations over people and at night are important steps towards enabling integration of drones into our national airspace. We look forward to reviewing these rules and working with the FAA on implementation. FAA's Drone Advisory Committee gets new members. New appointments have been made to the FAA Drone Advisory Committee. The Drone Advisory Committee is key to helping the FAA keep pace with innovation while protecting safety, said U.S. Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao. Members whose names are on the screen are executives who represent a variety of unmanned aircraft system interests, including industry, research, academia, retail, technology, and state and local government. 
UAVionics announces launch customer Airbus Zephyr for Ping 200X and Truefix. UAVionics has announced that their launch customer Airbus has successfully integrated and flown the UAVionics Ping 200X ADS-B transponder and Truefix GPS throughout the Zephyr High Altitude Platform Station 2020 flight test campaign in Arizona. Zephyr is a solar electric stratospheric UAS that flies above weather and conventional air traffic, filling a capability gap complementary to satellites. Zephyr currently holds the world's record for the longest flight duration at 25 days, 23 hours and 57 minutes. EAA recommendations include in FAA remote ID rule. Many of the provisions that the EAA recommended to proposals to integrate UAS, commonly known as drones, into the national airspace system were included in the final remote ID rule that was unveiled on Monday by the FAA. EAA recommended provisions were designed to protect EAA members engaged in both manned aircraft and traditional model aircraft operations. The remote ID rule will formally begin on February 28th of this year, with many aspects that do not become effective for as long as 18 to 30 months after the February 28th effective day. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Travis Air Force Base launches Small Unarmed Aircraft Initiative. The 60th Security Forces Squadron, in collaboration with Easy Aerial, have launched the first automated drone-based parameter security system for the Air Force on December 11th. The Small Unarmed Aircraft Initiative redefines on-base parameter security systems to potentially advance warfighting capabilities, enhance strategic deterrence, and foster full-spectrum readiness across the Air Force. Easy Aerials unmanned aerial systems are a game changer, said Master Sergeant Joshua Hicks, 60th SFS Small Unmanned Aircraft System Instructor. This jointly developed technology will provide unparalleled security and safety for our airmen and critical assets. Upon receiving security trigger, such as a fence alarm, fire alarm, or other distress call, the Smart Air Force Monitoring System can be programmed to automatically deploy from its base station and autonomously navigate to the triggered site to provide complete, unparalleled situational awareness. After mission completion, the small unarmed aircraft autonomously returns to its base station, where it recharges and waits for its next mission. The small unarmed aircraft initiative is part of the Small Business Innovation Research Phase 2 program, which adheres to Air Force perimeter security and situational awareness operational requirements. Virgin Orbit Demo 2 suffers another delay. We'll tell you which day they are now targeting after the break. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. VLT is just another tick on your pre-flight checklist until you need it. Did you ever wonder what would happen if you had an engine failure over the mountains, marshland, or other dangerous terrain? Take to the skies confidently with the most reliable and highest performing ELTs and safety products on board that instantly mobilize life-saving search and rescue across the world. Read survivor stories from aviators and adventurers who survived life-threatening encounters thanks to ACR and Artec's life-saving technology. Luck favors the prepared at SurvivorClub.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Prestels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're gonna hear more about it. Welcome back. The folks at Virgin Orbit are now reporting that this weekend's launch for Demo 2 is put off for a few days and are now targeting Wednesday, January 13th though that date could slide a little bit. VO's latest public statement indicates that our team is wrapping up final tasks, 
coordinating with our customers and preparing for our launch readiness review on Friday morning. We are now targeting a launch on Wednesday, January 13th with additional windows throughout January if needed. But now with all their major pre-launch tests complete, they are finally making their way through final review, checks and readiness discussions. Nine CubeSat missions comprising 10 total spacecraft are set to fly on Launcher 1 during Launch Demo 2, which will also mark the 20th mission in NASA's educational launch of nanosatellite series. NASA is using small satellites, including CubeSats, to advance exploration, demonstrate emerging technologies, and conduct scientific research and educational investigations. Nearly each payload on this flight was fully designed and built by universities across the U.S. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Arrow News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.